हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर ज्योति शेगोकार आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर ज्योति धुमाड़े शेगोकार विच इज मेड फॉर द स्टडी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग केमिस्ट्री सो ऑल दिस टॉपिक्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू स्टडी इन इंजीनियरिंग केमिस्ट्री वी हैव सीन सम ऑफ द टॉपिक्स विच आर रिमेनिंग दे आर इंक्लूडिंग इम्प्योरिटीज प्रेजेंट इन वॉटर गाइज एज यू नो that uh, very first unit of this engineering chemistry under this uh, santa gadge baba amravati university amravati the first unit is water treatment or water technology so under that very first basic point which is needed to study is impurities present in the water as we know that there are the different sources of water ground sources and underground sources that is surface water and underground water so surface water includes the water which is present on the surface like rivers ponds beaches uh, lakes then uh, ocean then uh, seas so these are the sources which are uh, including the surface water now second is a important source which is a underground water or under surface water so underground water how it forms when it rains water falls on the surface and it is absorbed by earth surface itself soil or earth crust which is uppermost portion of the earth it absorbs the water which is falled on the ground as a rain water so rain water uh, is a purest form of water which is found in the nature now when it is falled on the ground the different layers of soil are there like some coarse soil coarse sand then uh, some uh, small size sand particles then fine sand then uh, some crusts so such type of layers of the uh, soil are there so through which this water is getting percolated inside the ground you know this thing so when it is percolated it is at the bottom so at the bottom wherever there is found rocks so through which it cannot be uh, move or through which it uh, it is it is not absorbed by that uh, rock surface so it comes out as a spring water or well water or bore water so these are all uh, by uh, studying these are all type of water that is water present in a river water present in a ponds water present in a lake water present in different beaches water present in a ocean seas and water which is present in a well bore or spring so all this water is having a particular type of impurity like rain water when it rains the different gases present in the atmosphere like some pollutant gases some uh, oxygen type of gases some ozone type of gases are absorbed by that water and it becomes somewhat impure but when it is falled on the ground different minerals from the soil can be absorbed by that water then different impurities are also found in that water then when it is underground water different uh, salts minerals vitamins all the type of organic and inorganic material can be absorbed by that water so that water becomes again impure so what are the different type of impurities for the particular next study of water that is hardness of water then softening of water for that particular purpose will require here to study the different impurities now there are mainly four types of impurities found number 1 suspended impurities number 2 dissolved impurities third colloidal impurities and fourth is a biological impurities so very first is a suspended impurities now the suspended impurities this word indicates that something is suspended so here generally the solid particles are there solid particles are there which are present in the water so those solid particles which are present in the water they are remain dispersed in that water they are they can be seen by naked eye so it includes mud it includes silt it includes some uh, fine soil or we can say that fine clay then algae so uh, any type of substance which can be seen by naked eye which is remain dispersed that is comes under the heading of suspended impurities suspended impurities can be easily removed by the process of filtration or by using some alum type of substances by settling down so it can be easily removed but due to presence of this mud silt or fine clay or algae present in it it gives a particular smell it gives a uh, impurities which are, means that water cannot be easily taken by the 
person or the human beings or another animals also. So these are called as the suspended impurities which are to be removed before the use of water for the domestic as well as industrial purposes. Now this is about the uh, we can say that are suspended impurities. Now second one is a dissolved impurities. It is a very important class of impurities which is too difficult to remove. To remove it we have to use different type of methods. Now dissolved impurities. Dissolved means it is remained dissolved in a water. Just I said that water which is when percolated under the ground inside the earth surface at that time it is getting filtered no doubt. So whenever it is getting filtered it is um, there in a very clean form. So it is looking very clean but it is having some dissolved impurities in it. So what type of impurities are found? Here there is a found of calcium and magnesium salts as a minerals. So what type of salts? Calcium carbonate, calcium sulfate, then calcium chloride, calcium bicarbonate. These type of salts of calcium are found there. At the same time, same type of salts of magnesium are also there. So magnesium carbonate, magnesium sulfate, magnesium chloride and magnesium bicarbonate. These are the different salts which are found in the water as a dissolved impurity which is one of the example just. So due to presence of this salt it causes hardness. It causes when this water is directly used by the person it can cause the different type of diseases like urine stone like uh, this can be involved in the different systems of our body. So this is the uh, main source of the uh, this particular type of products. Now second one is a source of sodium. Sodium salts like NaCl, like Na2CO3, Na, uh, SO, Na2SO4, then NaCl, NaHCO3. These are the salts which are formed by the sodium also like the calcium and magnesium. So sodium salts are also not required by the by the body or by that uh, amount of water which is which is being used for the different purposes. So these sodium salts are also there. So due to its presence that water it becomes impure, it is uh, more salty, it can change its taste, uh, there may be different type of smell to it. So this is also one of the harmful impurity present in the water as a dissolved impurity. So with this sodium there is presence of some substances like some elements like arsenic, like lead, like manganese. These type of metals are also found. Now what is the role of these metals? Though they are found in a very negligible amount, they are found in a very small amount, but they are poisonous in nature. Due to their uh, directly uh, use or um, due to its directly, it is drunk by the person, it can cause a poisonous type of uh, or dangerous type of uh, symptoms or uh, particular diseases may be there. So arsenic, manganese and lead these are the metals which may be present in the water as a dissolved type of impurity and harmful for the different not only the human being but also different type of animals. Now with this there may found the different gases like oxygen like H2S hydrogen sulfide then like CO2 these gases may be present in a water and we know that it cannot be seen by our naked eye. Any of the impurity cannot be seen by our naked eye. So water can look very very pure or very very clean but still there is a presence of these impurities. So due to presence of these gases the water whenever it is used or whenever it is just uh, put for the different purposes in a steel tank or whenever it is come in contact with different type of metals it can cause a corrosion. This is one of the main and very important um, a thing that is to be studied and very important we can say that consequence on the metals. So due to presence of these gases then due to presence of H2S type of gases there is having some unpleasant smell to the water. So it cannot be drunk by the, uh, by, uh, by the person directly. So these are the all impurities which are there as a dissolved impurities which are very much harmful and can be removed by using different processes. So for this we will study next or we have seen number in number of videos that how can we uh, remove these different impurities. So these are the impurities which are called as a dissolved impurities.
so i think it can be understood now next is the colloidal impurities colloidal impurities word itself indicates that these are nothing but colloids so colloids these are the very fine particulates which are present in the dispersed condition in the water so colloids uh, they are having a very small size up to 10 raised to minus 4 to 10 raised to minus 7 cm very small fine size these um, uh, colloidals are found these colloidals are they may be of organic nature or inorganic nature like those impurity which we have seen dissolved impurity generally in this inorganic type of material is there we have seen because we have seen number of examples so this is nothing but inorganic type of impurities but this colloidal type of impurities are particularly organic as well as inorganic so these may be found in some ions also negative as well as positive ions negative as well as positive ions are found there so these are very dangerous impurities because because this cannot be removed by the simple processes like settling down like or uh, this can not be removed by filtration processes so these are the we can say that a very dangerous impurities or uh, a particular type of methods are to be used and whenever these methods are used like uh, if you have idea you might have idea about this that um, we use for the softening purposes iron exchange method then uh, some another type of methods lime soda method or uh, some different type of filters are used so during that what happens in the uh, in sometimes in boilers also this type of colloids colloids can uh, be just blocked can show blockages of that particular type of equipments um, one of the example is in air conditioning when uh, at our home when the um, in air conditioning if uh, this water is used in that uh, case in that equipment it can block the that particular type of equipment so it is also very um, means as it is having very small size it is different types of impurities are found negative and positive charge maybe some clay maybe some bacteria is also included sometimes because they are having very small size as well as they are remain in the colloidal state they are attached with these colloids so that's why they are very dangerous so it can uh, not be easily removed um, uh, after or uh, uh, rather we are using this uh, different equipments also it can block that equipments and can be remain in the water so special care should be taken to remove the colloidal impurities now last is a biological impurities biological impurities word itself indicates that presence of some life is there is it so human being is one of the uh, main victim of this particular type of impurities like biological impurities it includes some uh, plants some animals animals uh, includes a very microorganisms like bacteria fungus then um, algae these are the examples and these are remain with the another impurities like some algae in soil some uh, bacteria uh, in the fine sand or like that so when these impurities are there biological impurities they are also very harmful pathogens are found so whenever the water which is found with these biological impurities it is having a particular order then um, it cannot be directly drunk it is very um, we can say that this water must be filtered or must be purified and then and then only can be used so in this way these four type of impurities today we have seen so with this we will see uh, next time the another different topic so till then thank you very much uh, thanks for watching please subscribe uh, my channel thank you very much